Hello, everybody. Yes, I'm here. I'm at my local dive bar getting some work done. And uh, I'm not working on the cat right now because uh, I need to break in some new nibs. And, and so I'm working on this piece. This is a piece I bought from uh, Wayne Foster at the uh, uh, Hershey Comic Con earlier in the year, as in June. So this is a piece I'm working on just to, to get the feeling for the nibs. And I, it's because it's just for myself. It's it's not a paid job. It's not uh, for my story, Scat Investigators. Uh, I just want to break in these nibs, make sure that they're working well. And so once I once I'm pretty confident with the dots that I'm laying down, I'll switch over to working on the piece that I'm working on. You, if you watched uh, last weekend's videos, uh, you'll see that it was the uh, the cat that I'm working on. So. So go ahead, check out that video. Um, there's probably going to be some new people checking out this video um, because I'm uh, talking about a new topic and I'm going to be have uh, uh, Greg uh, Capullo's name in the title. So to the new people that normally don't check out my videos, uh, my name's Stippling Vaughn and I do all my artwork with us uh, dots. Stippling. I do it all with a 102 nib, and uh, I would very much appreciate it if you guys gave me a like, if you gave me a comment on how you feel about the topic of conversation or the stippling I'm doing. Uh, it all helps. All helps the algorithm. So, and today the reason why Greg's name is in the title of this video is because he just recently posted on X, formerly Twitter, uh, a, a note to all aspiring artists. Um, give me a minute here. I'm going to read it to you. It says, I can't stress enough to would-be comic creators, unless you're willing to forego friends and hobbies and accept sometimes strenuous deadline pressures. This business ain't for you. I've been known to work 12 to 16 hour days, seven days a week, for weeks on end. It's not easy at times, and at times it's unhealthy. And this started a thread. Someone shared it with their own comment. And Greg is absolutely correct in what he's saying. Uh, when I was a first-year student at the Kubert School, uh, Mike Chen was my, one of my instructors. And he said how, as artists in the industry, you're always working for your next job. And he said how you don't get breaks. You don't get vacations. He said how, like, there's, he, he didn't know he was respectful, because Mike is. He didn't give names. He said how, like, there was one artist. He had a monthly book. And he had to take a month off because he wanted to go on vacation. He came back from vacation to discover he didn't have a job anymore. So many times these artists, if they get a monthly book, they can't take vacations. They have to, and, then, and even if, it, like, especially now, even with uh, some of these artists doing the con circuit, they sometimes, the reason why some of these artists will cancel at the last minute is because they've got a deadline they've got to meet. They've got to, they got, they got to get the job done. And so, as a result, they aren't able to take vacations. Um, most recently was uh, Tom Nguyen, I believe it was. He was actually at the show, or I should say he was in Baltimore, but he wasn't at the show because he had a deadline. So he was actually in the hotel room doing work. Graham Nolan and Joe Staten have both 
talked about how they were doing artwork on their honeymoon. Graham says how he had to take his work with him. <coughs> how, and he admits, he goes, I did the worst work of my life, but because he was on vacation. Joe Staten's wife, when I was talking to him about this, his wife chimed in and she was like, oh yeah, so there are many times when they go to see friends and family in on holidays and how he'll have a, a drawing board like this with him and he'll have to lock himself away in a bedroom or in another room to work on pages while his friends and family are out or enjoying the holiday and he can't he has to get work done so when you hear this coming from someone like Greg, he's not, oh, woe is me, and this is my... Cr no, this is the business. This, is, this has been an ongoing issue for a very long time. Um, if you look at, like, even when they do, like, the history of comics, when they talk about those old, the, the older guys, even, like, the Milton Kniff guys, and they would talk about how the reason why <clears throat> sometimes... They would have an explosion. They'd have an explosion panel. Was because an explosion panel was a quick panel that they could knock out fast. So, um, so yeah. So this and and it it goes on just farther than that. George Perez. I remember the very first time I saw him speaking at a show, and he was talking about how the reason why he liked doing teen books is because. Being an artist was so solitary that the characters he was drawing on his pages became his friends because he couldn't go out and talk to people. He couldn't leave the house. So he'd actually create the relationships with these characters, which would explain why uh, he gave his characters so much personalities because he invested so much time because he spent so much time Cre working on these characters and interacting with regular people. I will tell you, that's one of the reasons why I do as much of my work here at the bar is so I have human interaction. That, along with, when I'm at home, I'm surrounded by all my stuff. And it's so easy to get so distracted when you're around your stuff. You control the TV. You control the radio. And next thing you know, you're not getting any work done. You're surrounded by all your books. And you're like, you know what? I'm working on something that reminds me of a, of a page Joe Cooper was working on. Next thing you know, you're going through and you're spending half your day going through a whole bunch of Joe Cooper comic books. Just absorbing all the stuff they did. And you're not getting any work done. Uh, my uh, Mark McKenna also, when I, spoke, when I speak to him, it shows... Uh, he's talked openly about how back when he was doing so many books a month, how he would have to bring in an assistant to help him. You know, like he'd be doing the foreground characters and whatnot, and maybe doing like the trees and the buildings behind him. And how they he would he would go days without taking a shower. Uh, he'd get he'd uh, all of a sudden he'd get that scratch underneath his chin. Because here he had been doing so much work. He hadn't shaved for like a week, a week and a half. So this is part of the business. This is part of the... So if you're going to complain about how this business takes up so much of your time, guess what? That is what all artists have been doing for such a long time. Uh, Jamal Igel even, at one point I was talking to him because he was, I was having him sign... Remember he did the, or the start of the Justice League Tangent Universe miniseries? And I asked him why he didn't finish the series. And he goes, he was supposed to, but then he got offered, the, an, the, an editor came up to him and said, I want you to do the Wonder Girl comic book. And he was concerned about, well, wait a second, I'm already working on this book. And he goes, let them find someone else to finish that book. I want you to do Wonder Girl. And here he ended up with uh, working on the Wonder Girl, and that was a book that he did for like a year, year and a half. So that 
it worked out for him because he had instead of us it was a remember he had already done like four or five issues it was only a 12 issue miniseries it wasn't going to be extended into a regular ongoing series and oops so oh, whoa 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 see that okay look at that we got a bead of ink see this is the reason why i start off with these nibs and i'll work on a test page because if i'd gone down i would have had a big big blotch of ink all over it so again this is the reason why you work on these i work on these side pieces to get the nib worked in so that way when i'm working on this cat piece and i'll, I'll show you the cat piece real quick we'll take a quick quick interlude from the uh lecture or community top conversation this is the cat i'm working on right now and you can see how even here these are all this is all dots okay even up here okay so i for me to get this nib to the level that i can do these dots i need to work on this piece here to get the nib worked into where i like it so i might be working on this piece for uh, a good portion of the day and the whole reason for that is so that way uh the nib is where i need it to be for working yep see we already got some block see this is the reason why because i'm already looking at this dots this would not be acceptable as a as a dot down the page working on the cat so yep so that's the reason why I do it. But but back to the topic on hand. Um, I know part of it also why some of these artists ends up not being able to work anymore or they get themselves to the point where they're not being as productive as they used to be, which is frustrating to them, is because of health okay now i'm not talking about where a lot of these artists become very heavy set and like well they just do their exercise they don't have remember greg capullo his uh i remember him putting tweets out how he put on a lot of weight when he was doing batman because he never had any time to exercise and how one of the first things he did after and he didn't ever got a chance to play on his guitar so one of the first things he did once he uh, was done with a Batman run was he got back to the weight, put, doing the weights and do, getting on the bicycle and being able to play his guitar. But he wasn't able to do that because he had you can't you can't have time you can't work or you can't play guitar for a relaxation when you're putting in over twelve hours. Of work to get a page done because the editor editor doesn't care the editor's not gonna be like well make sure you're getting your work done make or make sure you're getting your exercise in make sure you're eating right no no the editor doesn't care all the editor cares is why is this page late we had to put we have bump in the schedule I need to get these pages done sooner than you than you planned on the, the deadlines been pushed up okay I mean so and Think of the health also. Okay. Greg has mentioned about losing and uh, I had to lose weight after he's done with the Batman run. There's other artists that Mike Barron has even said how he would there's artists that have been in the industry for years that he would love to work with them, but health wise, artistic skill wise, it's not there anymore. Uh, a perfect example again. George Perez, remember we all knew how George Perez had issues with his eyesight towards the end of his career. You look at his artwork when he was doing Sirens. It wasn't the top of his game because of his eyesight. Uh, Bob Wick. Bob Wick is essentially blind now. He only does the con shows because of his eyesight going. And uh, it, it kills you when, you when you when you meet these guys. But you understand why, hey... They're still, hey, I've got, I've got so many years working on these books. Now my career is charging you to sign these books. So, and then, of course, well, lastly, R.T. Bear recently just announced 
that he has really bad arthritis in his hands. And he can't he can't use a nib and he can't use brushes like he used to. That's the reason why he uses microns and Pentex brushes or uh, pen brushes now because of him having really bad arthritis. And that also explains why his most recent book that he crowdfunded, why he was late. And he was very, he kept, and it shows on the page, he was telling us repeatedly, he's doing the best work he can, but he has to do it right. But when you see the level of detail that he puts into his work, it's the same as when he was in the 90s. But it's taken him longer now because of having arthritis in his hands. So to the people that are kind of like, kind of like there's people that are being negative towards Greg's posting. And I got to tell you, with all these artists, I understand exactly what you're saying. Okay? It's, I myself have vision problems now. Uh, I have to wear uh, magnifying glasses to do uh, re like like readers, daily readers. I'm up to uh, 2.00 with my daily readers just so I can do this work. Uh, I even have a set of two and a half readers that I sometimes do when I'm working on that cat with that really fine stuff. I need to really be able to see close into what I'm doing, which runs havoc. I got to wear these glasses on the very tip of my nose so that way I'm not looking through the lenses just past my reading area, my reading vision area. I hope that understands. Because it wrecks havoc and it just weakens my eyes. It just, it's something that I need to live with. So, so, I am myself, I say to all of these artists that are overcoming these difficulties, bravo to you, and I understand uh, why uh, you're having these issues. And to these artists that are still grinding it out, thank you very much. Uh, or in the back note of what uh, Mike Barron said, how there's artists that he wants to work with, but they just can't do the work anymore. I think of some of these artists, how they do the con scene now. And they have prints available for you to buy, not just on top of uh, selling, uh, not just selling, uh, the, the, I'm sorry, not selling the books, but charging a signature fee. Uh, some of these artists, uh, you look at them, and you look at these prints that they're doing, and it's not of their work on their original run. It's like uh, they never worked on Captain America, but it's a Captain America print. Or it's a Venom print because the Venom movie just came out. And you look at it, and the quality is less than what they did when they were working on a regular monthly book. And that's not, a, that's not negative towards them. It's, just, hey, they're doing the best they can. So uh, to all you creators that uh, might be checking out my video and you're still watching after 18 minutes. Uh, thank you for all the work that you've done to entertain me throughout my life. And if you're doing a crowdfunded book, make sure you are being honest with us and tell us, hey, it takes me longer to do a page. That's the reason why it's going to take me two years to do this book because I want you to have the best quality that I can do and you deserve my best and that's the reason why uh, I used to be able to do a monthly book but now it's going to be two years to do a book I don't mean I, I understand that I'm going to still back you but at least now I know why it's not going to be a quick turnaround the way some artists when they do crowdfunding or they're doing work in the business uh, why it takes them longer than it used to. So to all these artists, I say thank you to you. And I say, like the end of all my videos, I remind you all that life is stressful. And just take it all, one dot 
at a time.